Hey guys, today we're looking at how to um, write isotopes in either hyphen notation or in nuclear notation. Now, a couple things you need to know before we start. Uh, you need to know that the number of protons is equal to the atomic number, which we can find on the periodic table. Okay. Uh, the other thing we need to know is that the mass number is equal to the number of protons plus the number of electrons. So mass number, which has the symbol of A, okay, is equal to the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. Because those are the subatomic particles that have mass in the atom. So those are the ones that we want to combine together to give us our mass number, which is the approximate uh, mass of that isotope. Okay, the first notation we're going to look at is called hyphen notation. It's the you basically take the element name and a hyphen and then the mass number. Okay, so here's carbon 12 and we have oxygen 18. So our first example, they tell us the element, so that's real simple. We write the element name, calcium, and then we put a hyphen and we put the mass number. Well, this one they give us the mass number, so it's it's we don't have to add anything, we just have to write it down. So it's going to be calcium 44. Here we have an unknown nuclide, so we don't know what it is, but we know that it has 30 protons and 34 neutrons. So we can go to our periodic table and, and find the element that has 30 protons. That's going to be zinc with the atomic number of 30. Okay right there and so we know the name of the element is going to be zinc and then we want the mass number which is the protons plus the neutrons so they give us protons and neutrons we add those two together 30 plus 34 is 64 so our our isotope is zinc 64 uh, another unknown nuclide has 37 protons and 48 neutrons so we go to our periodic table and we look for 37 protons. I forgot what I was looking for. 37 protons, so it's going to be rubidium. Okay, the atomic number at 37. All right, so rubidium. And then we want the mass number, which is going to be the protons plus the neutrons. So 30 and 40 is 70, 8 and 7 is 15, so rubidium 85. Another type of notation is called uh, nuclear or isotopic notation. This is where we use the symbol. And then we have the mass number as a superscript on the left side and the atomic number as a subscript on the left side. Okay, remember one way to easy, easy way to remember it is that the big number always goes on top. Okay, so here we have a, a nuclide that has a mass number 130. So we know what our numbers are. 130 goes on top. We know that 56 goes on the bottom. That's our atomic number. And then we need to know the symbol of the element. So we have to look on our periodic table, find the element that has a atomic number of 56. Okay, it's going to be barium. So the symbol we're going to use for barium is BA. So we have barium-130. Uh, a nuclide has eight protons, eight neutrons. So we know that the, the number on the bottom is going to be an eight. We add those two together to get the mass number because the mass number remembers the protons plus the neutrons. So eight plus eight is 16. And we look on our periodic table to see what element it is. Eight. Uh, Protons is going to be oxygen. Okay, so there we go. Oxygen 16, written in nuclear notation. Uh, what if they give it to us in hyphen notation? Well, you just take the element name, change it to its symbol. So SN is the symbol for 10. Okay, the dash 113, that's the mass number. So the mass number goes on top. And we have to go to the periodic table to find its atomic number. So we find 10 right there. It has an atomic number of 50. 
Okay, so we put a 50. There's a subscript. Nurse 10, 113. Uh, we have a nuclei that has 27 protons and 30 neutrons. Okay, so we know that the mass number is going to be the protons plus the neutrons. So 27 plus 30 gives us 57. Okay, we know that the atomic number is 27 because that's the number of protons. So that goes on the bottom. We have to look up what element it is. So we're looking for 27. That's going to be cobalt. Okay, always be careful when you write cobalt that you make that O really small. Because if you write it too big, it looks like carbon monoxide. Okay, carbon and oxygen. So make sure you make that O really small. Now, you'll notice that the electrons and the protons don't match, right? So that tells us that this isotope is also going to have a charge on it. Okay, uh, the charge is equal to the protons minus the electrons. Okay. So 27 minus 24 gives us a plus 3. The other way we can look at it is who's winning. The protons are winning. Okay, protons have positive charge. They're winning by 3. So that, that also tells us that that's a plus 3 charge. And so that's how you uh, write isotopes and hyphen notation and isotopic notation.